Hi, welcome to another episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week. This week, it's Memorial Day tomorrow, so I thought it would be nice to do a, a video featuring my military Barbie and Ken dolls in honor of Memorial Day. So, uh, why don't we start with this lovely lady I have in my lap, since she's here. That is the Navy doll. This is Navy Barbie, and you can see her here. Uh, in her uh, dress whites, I guess they call these. And this is, of course, the skirt, but I noticed that there are pants here as well so that she can change. Here's a better view of her, by the way. I meant to do this video earlier. I just ran out of time with getting ready for tomorrow. We're having a cookout, so I've got a lot I've had to do. But I would have liked the natural light. Um, however, I'm under the light, so I get this nice glare on my head. And <laughs> Anyway, here's the box, and um, this picture on the box shows her in a different uh, setting, like in front of a ship. Uh, so yeah, this is Navy Barbie. Uh, there's obviously a can as well, but I don't believe I have that can. Now these dolls were in the, I'm going to say the early 90s, but let me check here. Um, I think it says 1990. It looks like 1990. There's a sticker on top of it, so that's really weird. But yeah, 1990, made in China, brush made in Malaysia. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, so that's the Navy one. Now let's look at the um, Air Force. Actually, you know, I do have an Air Force can, I think it is, in red, in a red outfit, or maybe, it's, yeah, I guess it's a can. I'm pretty sure it's that one. But anyway, this one is Air Force Barbie. And uh, she's got that big hair. Now let me go ahead and since the box is open anyway, I'm going to slip her out. So I can show her to you guys in a better way. Um, without the glare. And I know the light isn't the best right now. But I think you can see her pretty well. And see her airman's uniform. Um, which I think is really kind of cool. I think they did a good job with this um, leather looking jacket. It's obviously not leather, more like pleather. Uh, it's brown and then you've got the dark olive green pants which actually if you look under here there is a top under the jacket of that color. And she's got a blue scarf which you can see pretty well there. So yeah, I mean other than the big boofy soft hair, it's very soft by the way, um, she's pretty sleek looking. And I don't really mind this hair on her, especially for the time period that it was made. Let's see what this one says, if it's got a similar sticker and all that. Oops, something. There goes the stand. Oh, uh, shoot. They hide these things. Yeah, this is from 1990, so that must have been the year they did all of these. Now, let me show you the back of this box. Here she is, and her hair's in that little, um, I don't know what to call it, cap. Uh, so, I don't know, that's kind of funny because it looks like it's just sitting on top. Um, by the way, there's a big booklet in here. Look at the size of this, good lord. Um, I'm not used to them being this big. So, this is uh, maybe to do with also the uh, My Size Barbies, which actually that isn't one, but I thought it was. So yeah, it's got quite a bit, and it's got the uh, pilot or flight time Barbie, wet and wild Barbie, dance magic Barbie, ice capades, uh, western fun set, the Barbie ice cream maker, and my first Barbie again as the um, prince and princess. So yeah, this is amazingly big, and you know what? It's like a map. I still have. A little bit of trouble sometimes. Ah, oh, that one went together. I was going to say putting it back together, but I really didn't that time. Okay, so let's set that aside. And better not put it there. She's going to fall off. And there's that stand. I'm going to grab that real quick. Okay, so moving on to Marine Corps Barbie. This is her. She's in the dark black. And my computer screen is glaring. I'm going to try to turn that off. See if that helps. Okay, maybe it won't glare as much. And maybe it's not that. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Okay, so she is in definitely a dressier uniform. 
the thing I'm not crazy about on this one, and it's not open, so I'm not going to take this one out, is um, it looks a little big on her. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then, of course, it doesn't help that the gloves are more like mittens, you know, because of her hands being sort of molded together, or I should say her fingers. Uh, but overall, I like the outfit. Um, I just think it looks a little bulky on her. Uh, here's a picture of her on the back. And, of course, you know, they always look better in the official pictures. Um, altogether, I think this is a really cool series. I do like them, and I just think this is probably not the best fit, is all I'm saying. But, yeah, this is Marine Corps Barbie. And other than the picture on the back, the box is pretty plain. Nothing on the sides. Um, so, anyway, that's her. And then the can that goes with her, here he is. And he's a very nice looking can. Uh, here's the picture on the back, by the way, of him. Kind of saluting or waving. And you've got the iconic scene in the background, shadows. Uh, send in the Marines. It says, Meet Sergeant Ken dressed in authentic Marine Corps dress blues uniform for enlisted men during uh, worn during all official formal Marine Corps events. Sergeant Ken has already earned the Achievement Medal for Actions Above and Beyond the Call of Duty, the Multi-Stripe Desert Storm Medal for taking part in that campaign, and a Good Conduct Medal showing that he has three years of service. Um, the golden insignia on his upper arm identifies his rank and his wrist for four years of active service. Sergeant Ken serves his country with spirit and pride as he follows the United States Marine Corps motto, always faithful. So, really nice doll. I think this fits him very well. Um, yeah, so I really like this one. Now, I'm just curious to what Barbie said on the back, because I didn't look at that. Um, yeah, pretty much the same thing. It says, Sergeant Barbie served her country with spirit and pride as she followed the United States Marine Corps. And she had some of those same awards. So, And they do have little dress shoes, by the way. Little, You can't see them because it's so dark there. I can barely see them. But, uh, but yeah, hers just doesn't fit as well. And I don't know. They, It's, I'm sure, harder with that body. Okay, so that brings us to the Marine, or excuse me, the Army. And um, we had the other three, and, and I don't know if they ever made any Coast Guard ones. If anyone knows, uh, let me know. By the way, I just noticed Cher is on my head. <laughs> Those dolls up there. Of course, I don't usually sit at this angle, but uh, due to the lighting, I was trying to get the best lighting possible. And, yeah, it looks like Cher and who else is up there? Oh, the Evil Queen. and Oh, Midnight Gala. They're on my head, but... They're really not, as you can see. <laughs> anyway, this is Army Can. Uh, one thing you may have noticed, I'm not sure with this lighting if you did or not, but uh, both these cans, their face has that oily uh, residue that's uh, on it, uh, which if you take it out of the box, I mean, you can use, uh, I believe, some kind of pads to help, you know, just dab that off. Um, I've had some out of the box that, that had that issue, and I've been able to kind of control it. But yeah, this is uh, more of the Army Fatigues, and I really think these are nice outfits. He's got the hat right here. Um, here's what it looks like on the back, and, and in this case, of course, this is the African American version, which I was so glad they did some of those. Um, I don't have, like, every one in each version, although I would like to. Um, but yeah, the both the, the Barbie and the can and the African American, as you see on the back. And let's see what that one says. They're in the army now. Sergeant Barbie and can, or salute sergeants Barbie and can. They're enlisted personnel in the 101st Airborne Division, famed for skill and daring and air assault. Both wear authentic desert battle dress uniforms with camouflage material, like those worn in Desert Storm. You can tell by the insignia on her maroon beret that Sergeant Barbie is a medic. And she's ready for duty with two field medical cases. Staff Sergeant Ken is ready too with a helmet, binoculars, and a field case. His beret bears the distinctive 101st Airborne Division uh, insignia with the motto, Rendezvous with Destiny. Both are proud patriotic Americans serving their country whenever they are needed or wherever they are needed. So, yeah, this is the Ken. 
and I don't think I have the white version in this this set. And then here's the Barbie, Army Barbie, and as they said, let me see if I see. I don't see the little case unless they're just talking about these two on her waist here. I just noticed those. So maybe that is what they're talking about. Yeah, it's the same thing on the back of her, same exact thing. Um, so yeah, I think that must be because if you see the picture, this one actually looks like it has something in it, whereas on her, not so much. She does have a big white brush, if you see it in here. So at least she's got that for when she's in the desert. And these were special editions, by the way. I'm not sure exactly what that meant, if they were just because they were military ones or if they were like Toys R Us exclusives or something. I'm, that I'm not sure of, but I don't think so because I, I probably I got these when I worked at Target. These two army ones I've had for a long time and uh, the others I got recently in a uh, lot, so those I have not had long. Uh, but yeah, the, this is my tribute to the men and women who have served our country so honorably. And, you know, for so long, some people were discharged for no good reason for their uh, orientation. And thank God that's no longer the case, uh, that people can serve regardless. And, you know, it's been proven since Don't Ask, Don't Tell was repealed. I believe that was in 2011. That... Um, it doesn't make a big difference and so now everybody can serve without fear of losing their livelihood and, and all that they've worked for but anyway everyone I want you to have a happy and safe Memorial Day and do remember those who have fought so hard for this country and will continue to do so so take care and I'll talk to you next time bye